Hi everyone, this is Brittany with Toby Dynavox. Today I just want to walk through a quick tutorial on how to make sure that you install the Core First page set when installing Snap Plus Core First app. We've had a couple of users that after installing the app encountered the issue of having a blank screen and not having the Core First page set installed because they accidentally chose to start from scratch with a blank page set. So I'm going to walk you through the welcome screen here real quick. If you want to install Snap Plus Core First using the Core First page set, you would want to choose this option. This is actually a button. You can see the little red border around it. If you are an existing user, you would select this button. Now if you select this button, uh, one of the main reasons you would do that would be if you have Snap Plus Core First installed on possibly other iPads and you already set up an account with that and you just want to be able to port over your information um, that you've set up in that previous iPad on the new one. So that's when you would select existing user if you just want to be able to kind of log in and it would automatically pull all of your, uh, your page set, any of your custom buttons, anything you've created, it would automatically pull that over and set it up almost as a mirrored image um, on this iPad. Now for blank, start from scratch, if you choose this, you will have a blank page set. Uh, it's mainly for people who, if you want to just have, you know, snap and you want to have the ability to take photos and make your own buttons and not use the core first page set, that's when you would choose blank. Most people, however, want to start with the core first page set because it has everything already there for you and you can, of course, build upon it and still add your own custom buttons. So, real quick, I'm going to walk you through how to fix if you accidentally selected blank, start from scratch. So we're just going to hit next. And it'll ask you if you want to log into your MyToby Dynavox account. For this demo, I'm going to skip that. It'll ask you for your name. It'll ask you to choose a voice. Now for the free version of Snap, speech is not enabled. Um, you do have to pay to enable speech. However, you do have all the full functionality of Snap Plus Core First. So you can still make buttons, you can still browse and go through the whole Core First page set, um, build your own pages, everything that you want to do. Um, the speech is just not activated without an in-app purchase if you start with the free version of the app. Then it's going to just ask you to pick a grid size. Okay. That's going to create your new profile. Uh, normally it'll give you a little walkthrough, but we're going to say not now. Okay, so if you installed Snap Plus Core first, and you're, once you went through the process it looked like this, and you didn't see the Core First page set, um, I'm going to show you how to fix that and put back in the Core First page set. So to do that, I'm just going to go up here, click on Settings, and then you'll see down here it loads a little bottom dialog, you're going to hit page set, and you see right now my page set is blank because that's what I chose, but I don't want blank, I want to add the core first page set, so I'm going to select blank, and I'm going to say I want to create a new page set. Now, you'll see here there's blank, which you have now, and there's the option for core first. You're going to select core first, and you'll see it's selected, it has a little green checkbox, and then you're going to hit create. And by default, it will start the page set name as core first. We're going to hit create. So now you can see you have your blank option, but you also have core first option. Now, right now, blank is still selected. However, you want to select core first. And now you can see the little green checkbox shows that core first page set is now installed. And you'll see a preview here that it already loaded. So if you come back up to here, all you have to do is remember to hit done. Now you've gone from having a blank page set to the core first page set. And you'll see, you know, here's the core words, the quick fires are in here, topics, all the different things that you might want to use and start with. And then as I mentioned previously, if you want to add custom buttons, add custom images, buttons, you can still do all of that 
when you choose the core first page set. Also, it's important to note that if you're looking for some additional training and ideas how to use SNAP plus core first, we also have a free app called Pathways for SNAP plus core first. And what it does is it will actually walk you through step by step different processes of how to use SNAP plus core first in different examples and has a, a ton of different video walkthroughs that you can use if you're looking for creative and fun ways uh, to start engaging with SNAP plus core first and also examples. That's all for this tutorial. I hope everyone finds this useful.